In 1912, Roy E. Farmer decided to open up his own coffee business to make it easy for restaurants to pour a great cup of coffee. He had big dreams, but he didn't have much money. So he started the company where any sensible entrepreneur would, the back of his brother's bicycle shop. By 1915, he had already invested in a new roaster and the best transportation money could buy. An astute businessman, Roy made some key hires early on. In 1922, Roy and Frank Farmer received a patent on a coffee brewing machine and the Western Urn Manufacturing Company was born. Before long, the brothers began selling tea and culinary products. The growing business had eight employees and coffee was selling for just 46 cents a pound. To keep up with demands, the brothers expanded the operations to San Diego and Oakland and they built a new headquarters in downtown LA. The Depression was a challenging time, but Farmer Brothers managed to expand out-of-state operations as well as growing the manufacturing business with innovative new brewing machines. 1939, farm brothers were selling over three million pounds of coffee. In 1942, a nation at war. The plant was retooled to aid the military effort. With most male employees off the war, hard-working female machinists took charge fabricating ejection seats for fighter jets in the Western Iron Factory. After the war, it was time to celebrate, and celebrate they did. The Farmer Brothers' 35th anniversary party was held at the Santa Inez Inn, and a good time was had by all. 1949, business was booming, and that summer in Torrance, construction began on a massive 20-acre facility. It had loads of warehouse space and state-of-the-art machinery like this, and like this, and like this, and this, and even this. But most importantly, it had two giant roasting machines capable of increasing production to a whole new level. Over six years later, one of the roasters is still in operation today. By the early 50s, the new plant was operating full tilt. For the first time, sales were topping 14 million pounds a year, and the plant workers became unionized under Local 547. After his father's passing, Roy F. Farmer took over his father's vision to aggressively grow the business, purchasing a fleet of new trucks and acquiring operations from Seattle to Panama. But it wasn't all work. During the war, Roy was enlisted in the U.S. Signal Pigeon Corps, and in appreciation for the birds, he built a homing pigeon loft right up here on the roof. 1960, the Western Catering Club. 1961, construction of the brand new administration building, featuring the state-of-the-art IBM 1401 computer system for monitoring sales and finance. 1963, Spice Products Company began in Los Angeles, California, supplying the highest quality spices, herbs, and seasonings in food service and industrial food industries. 1965, introducing the Brewmatic, for perfect flavor control coffee automatically. 1966, 50,000 square feet of new storage space for spices to be ground and milled on site and 20,000 for cold storage. 1972, custom coffee plan, the office coffee division of Farmer Brothers Company began. Meanwhile, throughout the decade, restaurants serving Farmer Brothers Coffee are awarded the prestigious Golden Cup Award 30 times over. The 70s were a time of record sales, thanks to strong demand and a tireless sales force. Throughout the decade, investments in the infrastructure as well as buying out competitors' operations created a strong foundation for what was to come. 22 new branches, meaning that the company now had the capability to sell to over three quarters of the U.S., just in time for Farmer Brothers' 75th anniversary. By 1993, the company had outgrown its space yet again, and construction began on the center warehouse. But just over a year later, a terrible flood wreaked havoc over the company offices, with seven feet of water washing away cars. Dude, where's my car? 1995, a new spice lab connected to the factory by a pneumatic tube system. That lets us monitor our quality at all times of the production process. In 2007, Farmer Brothers acquired Coffee Bean International, one of the nation's leading specialty coffee roasters. Coffee Bean International services independent coffee houses, restaurants, and grocery retailers throughout the United States. Then in 2009, Sara Lee's DSD Coffee Division was acquired, giving Farmer Brothers a truly national presence. And today, Farmer Brothers turns 100. We have roasting plants in Torrance, Portland, and Houston. Branches in every key market in the U.S. and customers in all 50 states. World-class coffee, tea, and culinary products served in over 60,000 food and beverage establishments. Selling to restaurants, caterers, convenience stores, hotels, office buildings, healthcare facilities, and even casinos. One customer at a time. Today we celebrate our 100th birthday. Today we are 100. Today we are 100. Happy birthday, Farmer Brothers, and here's to many more. Happy birthday, Farmer Brothers. Happy birthday, Farmer Brothers.
Happy birthday, Farmer Brothers! Happy birthday, Farmer Brothers! And I want to thank all of our employees, including vendors and everybody who's connected with Farmer Brothers for doing a great job to keep this company going. On behalf of all the employees, I want to say thank you for helping us celebrate 100 years of success, and we're looking forward to 100 more.